So we're running a 220 Volvo 220E loading truck digging this basement. Haven't had weather here in a while, so we're out uh, just playing in the dust, really. Got to get down about nine feet before it starts getting wet at all. But this Volvo is pretty nice. Kind of, kind of surprised me. I ran a Volvo loader earlier um, this year, and actually thought it was very, very nice too. There's a few things about this Volvo that I don't like, but I think there's a few things about most all machines that I don't like. But as far as smoothness of operation and power, this thing seems to be pretty nice. I can understand why Chris over at Let's Dig 18, I can understand why he likes these Volvos. The interior is a little a little on the plasticky side to me, uh, but for the most part, this thing's pretty dang nice, and it has plenty of power. I like to use the same bucket on the machines as I'm trying them out. The quick coupler might be a little different, but for the most part, when the bucket's the same, the geometry should be the same, except for the quick coupler but this is kind of like a sandy clay mixture, pretty, pretty hard stuff, and it actually rolls right through this stuff pretty good. But we got this basement here we're digging. The stake right over there, um, that one's the other side of the garage, and then it goes across, and then we've got that over there all this over here. You got pool house back there for a future pool that's going to be over here. And this is all going to be cut down 10 feet lower than where it's at right now for a sport court, for a basketball court. and uh, uh, They're going to be batting cage down there as well. And that corner right there is kind of where the house starts from there and goes over that way. So this will have 10 foot basement walls. We're going to cover them all up. We'll do a foundation over there, foundation wall over there. Sewer and water's in and done. The homeowners didn't know where they wanted the elevation to be at, so I cut it all down within about six inches of grade, so I'm pretty close. But we got another garage that sits right here as well that's also going to be suspended with a garage, with a room underneath it. So we've still got quite a bit of dirt to cut out of here. I'll be all day today and probably part of the day Monday as well. But just moving dirt. Kind of nice to get paid to run toys all day. Tonka toys. Big Tonka toys. Feels a little, little light in the back end, which kind of surprised me because it seems like it has a big counterweight. But for the most part, the uh, Volvo makes a pretty strong product. Don't know if I'm ready to get away from the deers yet, but Bobo makes a, a pretty strong, pretty strong machine. Kind of surprised me though, like I was saying. But it seems to have good speed. It seems to be smooth enough. And yeah, it seems to Seems to handle things pretty well. Track speed is good. Um, the uh, the computer system is a little different than what I'm used to. I'm used to kind of everything being real easy to to see and understand. This this one you got to go through a lot of menus to get to what you're after. So when you're not used to it, there's a little bit of searching that goes on. But once you get used to it, I'm sure that uh, it would be fairly easy to, to navigate through and find your way pretty easy. Out 
out here in Utah, we haven't had rain for a while. And this dirt is really powdery. You can see how dusty it is and tracking her out in the street. They're pretty good here about uh, about not getting on you if, as long as you clean it up every day. But yeah, we didn't clean it up yesterday, so let's make sure we clean it up for the weekend for the neighbors and everything. We got five or six trucks running today. I think I've already loaded out three, four, five. I think I should have, yeah, I got six. One more just rolled in, so. Taking it about a 35 to 40 minute round to get it out of here and take it to the dump site. But, the more trucks we can have, the better off we are, for sure. Haven't really, haven't really been able to tell how fuel efficient this thing is yet. But uh, we'll find out today at the end of the day how what kind of what kind of economy this thing gets. I never quite trust the computers 100%. Never seems like they're ever really right on the money. Even though I probably should, I just don't. But this bucket is a CF bucket, so Central Fabricators. I believe it's owned by uh, by Woods, uh, Woods Companies. But uh, I like the geometry of the bucket. And then uh, the coupler, the, this particular, this particular uh, dealer goes with is a Strickland coupler. So Strickland manufacturing, and it had a Strickland bucket on it. But like I said, I like to use the same the same buckets if at all possible. That way, uh, you're getting kind of the same same idea of how it's working in comparison to the other machines. Always nice to know how it how it stacks up in comparison to the other ones. Kind of crazy how when you don't have any moisture for the winter, the dirt just stays dry. Like I said, I got to go down about nine feet here before I get into a whole lot of moisture. Eight to nine feet before I get into some moisture. But it is what it is. Got to just keep things rolling. People don't like to pay for water to keep the job sites wet. Sometimes I wish it was more like California where you were required to keep the dust down. Kind of nice. Kind of nice for everybody involved. Neighbors, truck drivers, operators, helpers, everything. Ground guys, I know that they can't like all the, all the rain. Or all the, not rain, but all the dust when it doesn't rain. This is a single, single family home, just one home residential. It's about, it's about 8,000 square feet uh, on the basement level, which includes the, the garages, which is what I'm digging out right now. Um, and then the one that has a sport court in it, it's about 1,600 square feet with the sport court. Or just the sport court is about 1,600 square feet. I think the kids are going to be pretty pretty thrilled to have a 
1,600 foot square foot gym, especially in the middle of the winter when it's snowing and cold outside, they can come inside, and go downstairs, and make all the noise they want, and have a good time. Something that would be cool as a kid, that's for sure. up a little more for him here. Or just give him a drive out. <laughs> the grading ability on the, this 220 is so far it's a little bit different than what I'm used to. Still a good, a good smooth machine. Seems to handle the bucket okay, but still a little light and on the on the rear end. Maybe take a little more counterweight. It's got the 32 inch pads, which kind of surprised me that it felt a little light. First Volvo I ran was a 210, I believe it was a B model, just kind of after they first came out. Nice machine, but the interior to me wasn't, didn't seem like it was all that great, especially for something that's been working in the dirt every day. Just kind of wondered how it was gonna hold up, really, as time went on, so kind of, kind of worried me a little bit. I ended up, uh, when I was demoing that machine, I actually ended up going with, I believe, a cat. Uh, is what we ended up buying. Uh, but we've tried the Komatsus, we've tried the Cabelcos. Uh, kind of tried a bunch of the different machines. And there's some we haven't tried, of course, like the link belts or the Sumitomos or the cases, I think they're all the same. But just kind of stuck with kind of what we know we like. With Komatsu, I've never never really liked the Komatsu. They don't seem like they're really all that fast to me. Uh, super smooth, but that's kind of what happens when you have a, a slow machine as they seem super smooth. But So I get to unload the trucks there and Start grading this out right here. Kind of missing my Trimble birthwork system, that's for sure. But uh, it's all right. We'll get a guy down here and get him checking grade when we go to finish this thing up. But I don't know if you can tell right there or not, but a little, a little on the bouncy side, and I'm pretty well, I'm pretty well dug in here. But can't always be all be balanced perfectly so we'll load some more trucks create some more dirt here and keep rolling thanks for watching